So MS is something I'm more familiar with. I know more about, I guess, than Lyme disease. MS, like I said, is an autoimmune disease. Um, so you ha your immune system is like overactive um, and it's um, causing primarily, the symptoms aren't as broad as Lyme disease. So like neurological symptoms, a lot of, a lot of people in my mind, when I was younger and I was diagnosed with MS, I was like, great, I'm gonna be in a wheelchair. Cause I just think of like, I don't know, and being an older person in a wheelchair with MS, that's what I thought it was. Um, and it's, it doesn't have to be that way. So MS, there's, um, different types of, um, different stages, I guess, of MS. So you can have an acute version similar to Lyme disease where you have like what you would call an attack, um, an onset of symptoms and have like a horrible time for like a week, a month, a year, and then one day it's gone and you're fine. But I was diagnosed with um, MS relapsing remitting stages, so it would come and go in flares. Um, Similar, similar to Lyme disease also. Um, so I'd have, I started off with just, when I was first, first had my first like, what I thought was an MS attack, was the summer after my sixth grade year. And I was able to go back to school in seventh grade. I wasn't perfect. I wasn't back to like 100%, but I still went back to school. And I did, I mean, I did fine considering the circumstances. Um, and then after that, as time went on, um, my episodes got longer and longer and more severe um, to the point where I didn't think I'd come out of it. And that's kind of how MS works. So like you're diagnosed with relapsing remitting and then it progresses to what they call progressive MS. Um, and you're just, you just progressively get worse, worse and worse. and you never get better. So that's hard. That's, that's a big diagnosis for a teenager. I think it was hard for me. It was hard for me to accept. So um, when I was diagnosed with Lyme disease, I, um, I mean, it's, it's a better diagnosis, but it's very, very hard to have something completely different. Um, Lyme disease, where so MS is um, an immune, di I mean, it's an autoimmune disease. Lyme disease is a um, bacterial infection. It's a tick-borne illness. So at some point that I don't know and don't remember, I was bit by a tick and gave me this bacteria that I can't pronounce, sorry. <laughs> um, and um, the bacteria is similar to, it's, it's called spirochete bacteria and has the ability to, to just um, infest, I guess, like your organs and your mind. For me, uh, the bacteria cross the blood-brain barrier and cause a lot of neurological problems. It can be anything from, it depends on the person with the Lyme disease. Um, it can be, for example, my grandpa had um, Lyme disease, a very acute version of Lyme disease. I caught it really fast and he was having heart problems. I thought he was like having a heart attack. Um, and that's really common with Lyme disease is to have heart problems. I haven't, I have just had neurological problems. Um, so. Yeah, it's um, essentially, it's interesting uh, seeing my doctor, my, I touched on this earlier, the, the um, medicine for MS is suppressing my immune system. And now being diagnosed with Lyme disease, my doctor is working on strengthening my immune system so that I, my body will be able to fight this bacteria on its own without the antibiotics and the supplements. And I'll always have it, um, but there will be a point where I can control it a lot better by myself without, without the medicine that I'm on. Um, so when I had MS, the reason that I got, well, when I thought I had MS, the reason that I 
continue to get so much worse on the medicine is because it was the wrong medicine for me. Um, and it was, it was just, in a sense, it was just like destroying me. It was destroying my immune system that was already, it's already compromised significantly, so. So how they diagnose MS is essentially just based on your symptoms and your MRI. Some doctors do a spinal tap and others don't. Uh, that's not 100% test of whether or not you have MS. Um, so my, my MRI shows a lot of lesions. Um, so for MS, when you have MS and you have a lesion on your brain, it's like a dead spot. It's like a scar, essentially, that will never heal. It's like a dead spot on your brain, and that's why, when I, that's why like, I can't lift my left leg, or that's why I'm numb, that's why my eyes are so bad. It depends on where the lesion is and how big it is. Um, that your brain is just, that part of your brain is almost paralyzed. Um, my doctors, even when um, I was diagnosed, when they thought I had MS, the lesions on my brain, my doctors were confused by because the lesions changed, they moved, and sometimes there would be a lot and sometimes there wouldn't be very many, which doesn't make sense for MS if the lesion is like a scar on your brain. Um, and my doctors attributed that to me being so young and being able to heal myself, um, which also isn't something that you do with MS. You, your body doesn't repair itself with MS. It just continues to get worse. So my doctors kind of overlooked that a little bit. Um, my doctor now that I see is, I come out every time being so happy. <laughs> and so it's unbelievable that I struggled with this my whole life and I'm gonna be done soon. I'm really close to remission and that's awesome. Um, so the lesions on my brain have the ability to go away, whereas before I thought it was just like, it was, it was a scar and it was dead. My brain was dead right there. Um, so I'm on a lot of neurological um, support as far as my, my supplements and my medication. And that I can tell that's helping me a lot. And so my doctor is going to give me another MRI and compare it with the one that I had when I was diagnosed with Lyme disease. And I'm really excited to see that. It'll be awesome to see my lesions smaller and, and going away. So that's awesome.